everybody, this is D. I'm a hot mess today, just to excuse the way I look. <coughs> Mark's got the air on, I'm freezing to death, so I got a sweater on. I know it's 82 degrees outside here, but he's trying to freeze me out the house. So, I got a sweater on. All right. I'm on here, I'm going to pick some uh, replay winners, so watch out for those videos. I'm doing it today. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying to get our hippy-dippy uh, slideshow together and all that. Just bear with me. I am so weak. And my brain only works for so long. And then it just, I don't know. Anyways, um, I've bought a lot of stuff from Macari. Macari is an app you can put on your phone. I've been using it for years. I've I got, even got some things up for sale over there. But anyways, uh, which have been there a long time. <laughs> But anyways, I buy from Macari all the time. It's like going to a garage sale, okay? Um, there's used stuff on there. There's new stuff on there. There's people purging their craft items and their yarn and their beads. And, you know, you can buy anything and everything you can think of on there. Well, not, probably not everything, but you know what I mean. Anyways, there's a make an offer button. So let's say somebody wants $20 and it's $6.99 to ship it. You can offer them fifteen dollars and see if they'll take it. You know they have a limit and all that, but and that's how I um that's how I get a lot of like my junk jewelry um, that I use for embellishments on stuff that I make. Uh, that's where I get a lot of my macrame stuff because it's expensive in the stores. Um, you can get good deals on yarn. Um, you can get discontinued yarns, maybe not such a great deal, but discontinued yarns there that, you know, you've hunted everywhere else for and can't find. And surprise, surprise, somebody's got it on Macari. So anyways, um, I've been doing grief shopping. That's what I call it. I, you know, when I'm trying to make myself feel better. And um, so I've been doing some shopping. Well, I decided that I needed some more macrame beads. And I needed some more junk jewelry. Um, I've used a lot of my junk jewelry to make lamps and all kinds of stuff, which I haven't shown you guys, but that's what I've used most of it for. And so I'm going to show you kind of like uh, some of the things that I got. To be honest with you, my brain isn't working. So if I thought about it, I'd have tried to go through my app and figure out what I paid for what. I'll give you a general idea, but don't hold me to it. And... Um, and I'll show you uh, the kinds of things that you can get on Macari and what I've been purchasing during my grief shopping experience. Okay, this is my first one. Some of these I haven't even, like, unpackaged. Let me see. I'm going to put my garbage right there so I can just take it out. Yeah, see, it's still in the thing. I know this I didn't pay very much for. Um... Let me see. Once I get it out, I can get a general idea. Scissors. Not mama's scissors. I was cracking myself up after I made that video uh, the other day. I don't know. And uh, I used my mama's sewing scissors. I don't know what they're doing in here, but they're in the cup. And I used my mama's sewing scissors to cut plastic. And I felt like I was going to be grounded, you know. So, anyways. <laughs> I had to switch it up and get back to the cheaper scissors. <laughs> okay, so... Let me open the other bag, too. I believe I paid, like, $6 for this. I'm going to guess because it's small beads. And I don't pay a lot for small beads. So I'm going to say I paid about $6 and probably $3.99 uh, shipping. So let's say 10 bucks. Okay? All right. There's some very cool, unique beads in here. They're showing up. There's some that are painted. Uh, different sizes and shapes. All wood beads. Here's another bag of different sizes, shapes, and colors. Wood beads. Here's some that are painted with little flowers and stuff on them. Wood beads again. And she must have thrown this in as an extra. And it looks like there is different kinds of beads in here. Some pearls and some stone beads. Crystal beads. And it looks like a little uh, sun charm right there. 
when she threw that in. So that's one of them. Okay. The next one. Okay, this one. Oh, this is an Amazon buy. Sorry. We're going to put this on as Amazon. I was thrilled. There's 600 wood beads in here. These are the ones that I used for the rainbow bracelets and the pens and all that. And I paid $7.99 for 25 of them. And I know I had a coupon, but still, at Michael's. And I paid $10 for 600 of the exact same beads. Okay, Amazon. And let's see, does it tell you your price on here? No, it doesn't. That's okay. I know. It was like $10. Okay, this is another Macari. Like I said, a lot of these Macaris, I got, I got empty this trash in here. A lot of these Macaris I haven't even opened. I just opened the box. Oh, okay, that's that or whatever. Oh, shoot. One of the bags opened up on me. Hold on. I'm just going to to the side. Okay, this one is, I see the big peace sign there. And there's a flower, and these are all different colored wood beads. And those ones that I dropped look like they came out of this bag, so let me put them back in there. Okay, so there's this. Here's a really cute necklace. It looks to be intact. Well, you can see the flowers. They have a purple hue to the center. And little purple glass beads as well. And there, put that over the side. I'll give that a giveaway. Okay, here's some, another little bag of wood beads. Nothing fancy. These ones are really cool. These ones have all kinds of different things painted on them and all that. Cool. Okay, this one is little black wood beads. Oh, that one's neat. This is some burgundy colored wood beads. There's a heart in there and a great big square or rectangle. Another bunch of miscellaneous beads. And then this one's kind of cool. It has some oddball beads, you know, like polka dots, and here's one with carvings in it, and there's some hearts in there, and just, just some oddball wood beads. I know, thrilling, right? To me, it's super cool. I'm going to show you one of my junk bags, and I got a, another bag of those. Um, okay. Just two bags of these are printed wood beads. Like I said, I was on a wood bead hunt because I was out of wood beads. Okay, this is more geared towards macrame. Big giant beads. I paid three dollars for this bag and three ninety nine shipping, so a total of seven dollars. I'm gonna tell you right now, you can't get two of these beads for seven dollars. Okay, so that was a heck of a deal. Very happy with that. Cool, cool. Okay, let me scooch all this in the basket. Get some room. Got this old basket here. Okay, this one. I'm going to take the rubber band off. Hopefully, beads don't go flying everywhere. It's not just beads I got. I got some other stuff too, but I want to get these out of the way. Okay. Okay, this is just basically a bag within a bag. And it's a big giant bag of wood beads. I believe this one is $5.99 and $3.99 shipping, so under $10. Nice. It's a heck of a deal. There's probably a thousand beads there. Okay. All right. These I paid eight fifty and five dollars shipping, so thirteen fifty, and it's forty 
napkin, wood napkin rings. And I use na wood napkin rings for all kinds of stuff with macrame. I mean, I love some of these. They're printed and have animals on them. Some are striped. Some are just basic, which is fine with me. Um, I use these in macrame. I use these for all different crafts. So that is a heck of a deal for me. Because I don't know if you've ever priced them kinds of things, but they're crazy. I have some cool dolls I want to show you too, but I'll wait to the end. All right. This is an eight and a half pound bag of what they call junk jewelry. The most time when you get junk jewelry, uh, you will get a good percentage of it that's actually wearable or resellable if you want or or whatever. But, you know, for my purposes, I pull stuff apart. Um, like, this is a whole bag of just brand new beads. You know, little bags of brand new beads. A lot of crystals and things in there. This one is miscellaneous things. Like, there's a... A purple butterfly, a wooden hair tie thing, here's a teddy bear, um, you know, just some oddball weird miscellaneous jewelry pieces. And here is an angel, you can see the little pearl angel there, um, there's just all kinds of cool stuff in here, Hold on, let me show you something. Like, this kind of thing are really good for embellishments. Like, somebody took out a lot of time to make this. This is all seed beads. And they took out a lot of time to make this, just never finished their project. Wouldn't that be cool as a handle on a bag or, you know, an embellishment on the front? This is the, you know, here's a one-off earring. Uh, here's the wood hair, you know, thing where you put a stick through on your hair. You can bend it. I'll use that for an embellishment. Here's the, this looks like it might have been a necklace. There's some words on it. Um, it has religious sayings on it, which is cool. And oddball things like this. Like, I have no idea what that was supposed to be. Cool embe embellishment. Here's a one-off earring. Those kinds of things are, uh, here's some peppers. <laughs> They're glass with the little peppers. I mean, you never know what you're going to get in this. Um, you know, some things are broken, like this is broken. This probably was a daisy, you know, but you could use it this way over, you know, your button for your bag or whatever and still use it as a decoration. I don't know, that's the way my brain works, guys, so... Anyways, that's cool. Uh, this is all crystal beads in here in this bag. This is all, looks like pearls and, yeah, see, these are actual necklaces that could be um, worn, you yeah. know? It's like all kinds of weird stuff in there. You never know what you're going to get in these bags, which is my favorite part of it. It's like getting a Mr. Bag of Yarn. Um, this is bracelets. This whole bag is bracelets. All different kinds of bracelets. Let me show you a cool one. I thought this one was really neat. What's it say on it? Courier? Believe. It says believe. It has crystal beads and a, and a ribbon to tie it. And there's, like, there's some really cool bracelets in here. Some old stuff from the 60s. You guys remember these kind? <laughs> you know, and, you know, I just reuse the beads or reuse the thing. This one's pretty neat, too. Look at this one. Oh, and it has a turtle. You know, like I said, I, um, for the, and then the, all of this is shell necklaces. They're all intact. Some still have the tags on them. But they're, you know, remember those? You know, all different kinds of shell necklaces. I'll figure out something to do. There's a big giant bag of them. 
This I thought would be cool for uh, embellishments, these cool beads. Look at the they're beaded beads. It looks like they used to be a necklace or something. Um, here's a, a pin for Christmas. It has a, a brooch pin in the back. Yeah, you never know what you're going to get. And some things may be broken, like this is broken. But you can use those beads for stuff. So, to me, somebody who's always embellishing and hippy-dippy and stuff up and all that kind of stuff, I pay $25 free shipping. $25 for all of this. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. Where are you going to get this many beads for $25? I mean, there's some turquoise in there. There's some uh, seed beads. There's... There's halloite beads in there. There's metallic. Crystal, of course. There's some agate. Some really, really nice. This one right here looks like it's probably onyx. It's a big round bead. That'd be nice on a bracelet. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of stuff I do with that. Okay. This one was a four pound box. And it has, I love this one. Wait till I show you this. This is junk jewelry as well. I paid $12 for this. Um, here. Look at that cool necklace. Isn't it cool? Oh, I should wear that. Very odd. But cool, right? This one says cute on it. I'll put that spray in the little side for that. Um, there's wooden rhinoceros. What do you, you know? <laughs> Here is a cool Indian elephant. Here's some kind of necklace. The triangle has stones inside of it. And there's just some really cute stuff. That looks like a goat, maybe. I'm not sure. And then miscellaneous beads in there. Um, okay. It says shells and um, African animals, like an uh, elephant. There's a zebra. There's a rhino. There's a uh, um, hippopotamus. And there is a cougar. There's the cougar, there's the rhino, there's the elephant, there's the zebra. And then in between that is bamboo um, beads, wood beads, and shells. I will take this apart and use it for all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, this right here. Some kind of rings. Um, one-off earrings, all that kind of stuff. This is just random beads, all different kinds of beads in there. Okay, look at this. It looks like it was made with novelty yarn. It has beads in it. Cute, right? I like that. It has little bells on it. And here's a black one and a red one. Same type. It looks like a purse strap to me. Uh, some miscellaneous, not sure what kind of necklace. Here's a bag of bracelets. That one looks kind of neat. And, like I said, this one was probably about $12. Here's some big beads I could use for macrame. All kinds of miscellaneous jewelry. I don't know, a lot of it is wearable. Yeah, so to me, this is well worth, you know, the... 10, 20 bucks that I pay for. I don't like this one. I might actually wear this this necklace. This is super cute. If 
You can see the flower made out of rhinestones right there. Super cute. All right, that's another of the... I kind of wanted to show you guys, like, what I mean by junk jewelry. That's what I mean by junk jewelry. You get a big box of just miscellaneous off the wall. Some you can wear, some you can't. Some is just beads. Some is, you know, broken, but you can use parts of it. Okay, let's see. What is this one? Okay, this is uh, wood. Now, these ones were wood necklaces. That goes with it up And they're all wearable. This is one. Here's another one. Here's another one. That one's pretty. Um, here's... That's all wood. Those big beads there I could use for macrame. Well, that's kind of neat how the ones lay over the top of each other. Very cool. Oh, wow, these are pretty. These are all wood. Totally macrame material. And here's the last one. Super cool. That, I got 11 necklaces for $9 and $3.99 shipping. So, I remembered what that one was because I couldn't believe that they were all wearable and they were that cheap. Okay, here's a big bag of beads, all different color wood beads. My necklace. This one's brand new. Wood beads. Just some wood beads to be used to make jewelry. Here is, this looks like it may be a candle holder thingy with beads on it. Here's one with, uh, looks like Catholic saints and Jesus. And here's a bracelet with those things on it. There's another, okay, how would that go? Like that. Necklace. All different size, big bead, wood beads. And that one, I paid $4 for this. For that box. For that, those things in the bottom there. Okay. All right. I was looking for bells because I'm going to make something that requires bells. And I found some vintage, uh, vintage small cow bells. Um, they're Indian bells made in India. And they have a little wood thing to make the bell work. And I paid $3 for five, five, um, Five bells. Okay, here's another one. I'm not going to get into everything, but you guys kind of get the gist of it. This is, uh, it's got keychains and necklaces and all that. I think that one I paid like $7 for that one. Okay, here's some macrame beads. <clears throat> this entire box I paid $11 for. Big Honkin. This one is uh, old wood um, thread bobbins. Look at these ones. These ones got. I have to show ya. You're not going to be able to see through that plastic. These ones have little owls on them. Aren't they cute? Okay. And then there's big ones like this and this. And orange and yellow. And look at these ones. Oop. Look at these ones. They have mushrooms on them. And just a whole bunch of different kinds of, of large beads. Can't beat it. I'm telling you, they can't beat the prices. Okay. 
Alright, let me put all that stuff in that box. Those and all that. Okay, now I got some really cool stuff I want to show you. Okay, you know, you guys know how I love the worry dolls. And um, they're made in Guatemala. And they're made by the natives in Guatemala. And um, I bought a worry doll wreath quite a while back. It's in one of my videos. But this one was completely different from that one that I bought. And so I decided I needed to have it too. This I paid $16 for. Those dolls are handmade by natives in Guatemala. And this one is going to go right next to my other one on my living room wall. Isn't it cool? I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, now the dolls. Okay, I don't particularly like dolls, but I'm finding myself gravitating towards them. Like Paula's mint doll. Paula Mint's doll that she made me blew me out of the water. Um, the gnomes from Kirsten. I, I'm starting to collect dolls, but I guess it's just weird dolls or different kinds of dolls. Just not the dolls, you know, that we got as growing up as kids, which I have some of my dolls that were mine as kids to show you as well. I'll show you that in a minute. Anyways, <clears throat> this was an odd box of vintage dolls. When I say odd box, you'll see what I mean in just a minute. These are so neat. Okay. These these ones here are wet felted and were made in Hungary. And it's a mama holding a baby. Pretty neat. Hollow in the bottom, but she stands up. This one is made by an artist called Lomini. This is a Navajo. Okay, this one is from... Oh, I know where it's from. Hold on. It's in a different language. Bulgaria. This one is from Bulgaria. It looked like Little Red Riding Hood or something. <laughs> She's got a little basket of flowers. This one, this one reminds me of like a, a a priest or a preacher or something from another country. Pretty cool. Look at this dude. Uh, this was made in India. Look at him. He's got those um, chimes that you put on your fingers. Little metal chimes in his hands. Probably. <laughs> Isn't he cool? This is the one I had Thrish just laughing. Look at this baby. <laughs> Look at his hairdo. Isn't he cute? <laughs> <laughs> and then there's this one Kyra Justin must be an old country pretty neat and this one is one of my favorites now they let you know that her hands were not connected and needed to be reconnected. And I was okay with that. But isn't this cool? This is from West Germany. And she has little black boots on. But see, her hands are not connected. Those are easily sewn back on. But look at her face. Thrust said that one would scare me at night. <laughs> Anyways, so those are the cool dolls I got from Macari. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I paid $16.99 and $6.99 shipping for all of these dolls. Heck of a deal, right? These are vintage. They're original. They're from all over the world. And I just think they're super cool. All right. Last but not least, 
I want to show you what I found in my mama cedar chest. <laughs> she swore to God that she'd given me, she probably just forgot, but she swore to God that she had given me all my dolls from when I was a child. And I found these in the bottom of the cedar chest. I was looking through the dolls the other day and uh, reminiscing. And I found my Chrissy dolls. Remember we talked about Chrissy dolls? Okay. Here's my Chrissy doll from when I was a kid. You know, the hair that grows and all that kind of stuff. And there's my Chrissy doll from when I was a kid. <laughs> Wait a minute, I'm not done. I forget what her sister's name is. But this was her sister, the blonde. The blonde sister that's hair pulls out. <laughs> and she still works, of course he doesn't. But here's, um, her face keeps covered up with hair. But here's Chrissy's sister. I'm not done. This doll is not a Chrissy doll. I don't know what kind of doll it is. But the, her other shoes in the bag. Um, but this was evidently one of my dolls growing up. And then here's Chrissy's little sister. And she's got a, a braided piggy tail that you can pull out and wind back up with the wind, windy thing on the back. But Chrissy's little sister. And then all kinds of clothes that my mama made for my Chrissy dolls. Here's a pink cape. Here's, what is this? Oh, this is a hippie vest. Here's a pink dress. Here's a beret with a pom-pom. Some of these my mom made and some made, I think that beret came with it. Here's a leopard jacket and a leopard vest or dress that goes under the jacket. I haven't even looked at these clothes. Um, oh yeah, I think that's the original Chrissy dress with the boho sleeves in that. Okay, here's the belt for the leopard jacket. Not sure what this is. Oh, this is one of those dresses where you Velcro around the neck and the arms stick out the sides. <clears throat> this is a pink skirt. There's a whole bunch of shoes in the bottom here. There's pairs of green shoes. Here's some underpants. <laughs> Here is a shirt. And here's the beret that goes with the shirt. So I found my Chrissy dolls. I was so excited. I'm going to wash and I probably should hand wash these clothes. They might fall apart. But anyways, I found all my Chrissy dolls. So I'm super geeked about that. thought I'd share that with you guys. That made me really happy. Not sure about her. I don't think she was a Chrissy doll because her hair doesn't pull out. So, if you guys know what this doll is, let me know. Anyways, found that rummaging around. Now I'm getting warm. Found that rummaging around in my mama's stuff in the um, cedar chest. This is the first time I've been in the cedar chest. So, um, anyways, I wanted to share my Makari hauls with you. I know that was a lot, but I wanted to get all that done. And show you my Chrissy dolls and my dolls I bought from all over the world. And my wor my newest worry doll uh, wreath. And I'll be picking some winners. I'm really weak, guys, and my brain's not 100%. So I'm having a really hard time with assigning numbers and slideshow. So for the hippy dippy. So if you could just bear with me. I'm starting to get my strength back. And uh, I'd appreciate it. Um, I don't mean to disappoint anyone. I'm doing the best I can. So just hang in there with me, guys. I'm getting better. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Go over and check out Makari. I bet you find all kinds of yarn and cool stuff. And uh, I think 
I, I said the other day that there'd be a link in my description box, but I must have removed it a long time ago. So um, what there is is just Macari.com there. And if I can find my link to get you a discount, I will uh, definitely put it in there. But I'm just my brain, you know. So anyways, that's it for now, guys. I hope you enjoyed um, seeing what I got from Macari and my Chrissy dolls and all the cool stuff. And I love you so much. Thank you for watching. Thanks for running my prayer list or my playlist. And thanks for all the prayers and all the cards. And just, just thank you. <laughs> I just don't even know what to say anymore. Thank you so much for all your kindness. And I just love this community. You guys are wonderful. And um, I will see you on the next one. All right. Much love, my friends. See if the clicker works. It's not gonna.